like most animals. Humans are a diploid and eukaryotic species. Each somatic cell has two sets of 23 chromosomes. Each set received from one parent. Gametes have only one set of chromosomes, which is a mixture of the two parental sets. Among the 23 pairs of chromosomes, there are 22 pairs of autosomes and one pair of sex chromosomes. Like other mammals, humans have an XY sex determination system. So that females have the sex chromosomes XX and males have XY. Genes and environment influence human biological variation in visible characteristics. Physiology. Disease susceptibility and mental abilities. The exact influence of genes and environment on certain traits is not well understood. While no humans, not even monozygotic twins, are genetically identical. Two humans on average will have a genetic similarity of 99.5% minus 99.9%. This makes them more homogeneous than other great apes, including chimpanzees. This small variation in human DNA compared to many other species suggests a population bottleneck. During the late Pleistocene, around 100,000 years ago, in which the human population was reduced to a small number of breeding pairs. The forces of natural selection have continued to operate on human populations. With evidence that certain regions of the genome display directional selection in the past 15,000 years. The human genome was first sequenced in 2001 and by 2020 hundreds of thousands of genomes had been sequenced. In 2012 the International HapMap project had compared the genomes of 1,184 individuals from 11 populations and identified 1. 6 million single nucleotide polymorphisms African populations harbor the highest number of private genetic variants. While many of the common variants found in populations outside of Africa are also found on the African continent, there are still large numbers that are private to these regions, especially Oceania and the Americas. By 2010 estimates, Humans have approximately 22,000 genes. By comparing mitochondrial DNA, which is inherited only from the mother, geneticists have concluded that the last female common ancestor whose genetic marker is found in all modern humans, the so-called mitochondrial Eve, must have lived around 90,000 to 200,000 years ago.